Hello everyone, my name is Thomas and you are on my Lettercraft YouTube channel. When I decided to try Lettercraft, first of all for sure I watched YouTube tutorials how to choose the letter, how to stitch, how to whatever. After that I started buying tools for Lettercraft and began my journey into this world. Of course first my crafts were terrible looking at it nowadays. But everyone starts from somewhere and can be good anywhere when, it, when you just start it. But more you practice, more better you become. But your patch can be shorter if you learn not only from your mistakes, but also watch how other goes through this. I'm in Levercraft for almost 4 years uh, and almost 2 of them I am full time in it. After I started making videos on YouTube, I'm getting more and more questions on particular actions, tools on, and so on. So it's time to start new video series. Here I'm going to share various tips and tricks related to Leathercraft in more detailed way. It won't be how you should do or what is right to do, it will be Something that I found out works for me and you can try made works for you also and you will make your leather crafting easier and better quality. First video from this series uh, dedicated to this tool. Since I started posting my YouTube videos from series how it's made the most frequent question still is, what the tool are you using for hole punching? Where did you get this tool? So today I'm going to expose my experience and nuances working with this tool. This tool I'm using for making stitching holes. When I started my leather craft, I had a issue with pricking irons that the holes on back side was not even and after stitching it didn't look so nice especially if the wallet has more layers. I have tried several different techniques to solve this problem, even set up pricking irons to arbor press, but it also didn't work well. When I found this tool, it elevated my stitching quality to another level. Main advantage against pricking irons is that I can control place of holes of, on both sides. As I decided from beginning that I like my craft to be with quite thick thread, I'm using one millimeter thread, I find out that mostly I like how stitch looks with diamond shaped holes. These pliers exactly the same shape, so it was the perfect tool for me to solve backside stitch problem. I found this tool on eBay. You can also find it on AliExpress searching for stitching chisel pliers. It cost about 20 US dollars. Chinese made item so don't expect much quality. But for me it works great. I believe I changed my four prongs pliers uh, maybe a couple times. As rivets in it became loose and it didn't work precisely. Unfortunately, I haven't seen this tool in other prong shapes. I have a pair of these 4mm pliers with 4 and a 2. Two prongs uh, pliers I'm using for corners. My work sequence with this tool looks like this. After smoothing out the edge with Dremel, I am marking up stitching line. Then I am making a groove. And before punching holes with pliers, I am marking holes with pricking irons. Correcting if needed. And then pricking, but not through, just about halfway. And after this, I'm finishing with pliers through 
same holes I just pricked with pricking irons. It looks like double action, but for me it's more precisely. As my channel is growing and I'm getting more and more questions, these videos would be something like tutorials slash answers to questions. So your comments and questions are very welcome. This would be inspiration for new videos from this series. So guys, hope this video was helpful for you. If so, just press the like button. So that's it for this video. Follow me on Instagram. Here I'm posting my actual crafts daily. If you want to obtain my craft, you can find the links in description down below. If you are new at leather crafting, you can find my PDF templates at my Etsy shop. Links is also in description. So that's it. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.